I've uncovered more secrets about the Gran Turismo 7 tire model, how to get faster in Gran Turismo 7. They don't tell you this, but I'm busting this wide open. I've done some research here and you might find it quite shocking. There's going to be a lot of stuff in this video, including a side by side comparison. So make sure you look at the data in the top of the screen from our tire mod. Now we're starting off here with a race that I did at Monza in the Tetra Fard. And I want to let you know that I was actually quite fast this combo. The race you're seeing here is a race that I won in the top split in EMEA region. My lap time around about this time was about the top 15 in the world. But later on in the week, I fell down. And if you have a look here at my tires, you can see, yes, we're driving cautiously here in the traffic, but I really don't get my tire temps up at all. Now, I was trying to drive as smooth as possible, but as the week went on, I was wondering, where was I losing this pace? Why was I not able to keep up there? You can see the tires there just touching 100 degrees on the front left very briefly as we go into lesmo 2 the tire temps barely getting in they're not even touching 80 degrees centigrade so my very 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 smooth driving style was clearly you know not warming up the tires excessively now you might think that's a good thing you might think it's a bad thing whatever you think we're gonna find out in this video because they don't show you this information i've had to run this through an external mod to get this information and I'm going to compare it with the very best drivers in the world and we're going to see some stuff that I think is going to make clear to you what you should be doing if you want to be getting fast lap times in two seconds. So let's go in here with Saxton, R. Saxton, who had a much better quality time than me and I'm going to show you something here very very interesting that I discovered. You can see me in the top right looking quizzical. I'm going to get more quizzical because as we go into the second chicane, look at the front right tyre and rear right tyre. Look at that little burst of heat in the tires. And I was thinking, hang on a second. That's quite weird. And I have a look again. So I play it through slowly and something unusual is going on here. Have a look. Up to 75 degrees C. When does it happen exactly? It's a very unusual place for it to happen because yes, he's getting on the throttle, but he's also unwinding the steering. But as we know from my previous videos, which I hope you've seen, by the way, that if you get heat in the tires, you do get more grip. So if you're a driver that's able to get heat in the tires, you will be able to have more grip in your tires and you'll be able to get faster lap times. And he's texting here, just sort of getting some heat in the right rear tires. But I really, I was never able to do that. So that is very, very, very unusual. I don't know if it was something because it was bouncing over the curb or something like that, but we're going to play it forward. If you remember, for Lesmo 1, we clipped it here at just 100 degrees centigrade. We just clipped it at 100 degrees, didn't we? That was all we could do as we have a look. What is Saxon going to do as he goes in? Well, he's up to 119. So he is 20 degrees higher on the front left. That is a huge amount. Again, in Lesmo 2, he's way, way, way higher. Way higher, 121. I think we were even lower in Lesmo 2. I think there might be a 30 degree difference. Now, in Ascari... We were unable to get any meaningful heat at all into our tyres with my smooth, smooth, smooth driving style. But let's have a look at Saxon here. Remember, he was a faster lap time than me, so he was able to get more speed out of this van as he goes into Ascari, a bit of a slide, 135. Wow, even hotter on the right and about, about up to 140 on the left. That is all going to be building residual heat in the tyre. So what I did now is I looked at the fastest driver in the world. This is Tamachan from Japan. He is the fastest driver, and we're going to see some interesting stuff here. So remember what we just saw in the in the second chicane, that little burst of heat that Saxton was able to get that I was nowhere near. I remember the temps going through Lesmo 1, Lesmo 2, um, and Ascari as well. Going into Curve Grande, obviously different lines for this corner will have a different effect on the heat you're able to generate. So Tamachan able to um, you know get some heat in the tyres there at Curve Grande. And I have a theory, by the way, which I'm going to let you know. Coming into second chicane, he's not going to get that unusual piece of heat that Saxon was able to get. So did Saxon do something there that was a little bit unusual? But then as we go into Lesmo 1, remember, I was just 100 degrees centigrade. Tamachan is going to go in at 127 degrees peak, 27 degrees higher. And let's have a look at Lesmo 2 here, going into Lesmo 2. And it is 118 degrees. Now, I have a theory. I was also testing out counter steer assistance. And you can see here that Tamachan is not using counter steer assistance. 
I wonder if the counter steer is actually preventing you from getting heat into your tires. That is my theory. If you have a look here as we go into Ascari, see the counter steer icon there doing some sort of work. And we don't really get any heat at all into the tires. And I'm going to show you something here that's very, very, very interesting and very sort of conclusive. Because we're going to do a comparison here. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please for me, make sure you're subscribed. And if you're subscribed, make sure you've got notification bell. It really helps me out. I love making these videos for you, busting the thing wide open. So please, please, please for me, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that like button. All that good stuff. I personally really appreciate it. We're going to go over the line here. Remember, I did end up winning this race. Um, so top split in the EMEA region. And we did have good race pace but i'm always thinking where can we go faster and now i'm going to show you this is the comparison lap time and the first thing is have a look at the difference in tire temps i know we're in a race situation but have a look in the difference in tire temps generally and keep an eye on that throughout this video there's a six degree difference on the front right there's a five or six degree difference across the board generally that is a 10 percent tire increase when it comes to temps does that mean you're going to be getting 10 percent more grip unlikely but probably going to be getting more grip so something with my driving style you see we're coming in here to second chicane i've got the time to choose a line i want really and i'm trying to be very 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 gentle and you can see we just don't get any meaningful heat in whereas tamachan was able to get some heat in the front left but this is where it's really going to rock it have a look at lesmo one again we're sort of taking it nice and gentle, peaking at 100 degrees. Tamachan I saw was at least at 111. We're going to go into the second Lesmo here. Tamachan's up near 118. I don't think we were we were close to that. And what look at the difference that does for the tire temps. Tamachan's front left, 68 degrees, dropping to 7, but mine at 63 degrees. That is a four degree. Um, by the way, I'm changing a. Uh, view of car here but the telemetry remains the same just so you know the telemetry is the same so as we both go into Ascari at a similar time see Tamachan getting close to 140 degrees on the right and I'm nowhere near it what is the effect going to be on the back straight here well let's have a look I mean I'm down to 58 degrees I'm actually doing a terrible job of just even keeping heat in the tires I'm actually just losing heat so there is a five degree difference around the tires for Tamachan. So is it a, is it chicken and egg? Is it a case of poor driving leading to poor heat in the temperature at uh, temperatures and tires leading to poor grip? Or is it just, you know, it can it be track temps? I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments and if you haven't seen my other tire videos, make sure to check them out now so you can follow the story. We are busting this wide open Gran Turismo 7 tire telemetry. What do you think?